What's going down, everyone? My name is Mac, and you're at the MacGyver 7 channel for returning community members. What's going down? We have a brand new patch note that we're going to be sizing up. And for new people that are coming in throughout the network, definitely hit that subscription button and accompany it with the notification bell so you get some more future updates past the 466.77 that we're going to be reviewing with some benchmarks through 3D Mark and the patch notes to see exactly what's changed. Cliff notes are that the 3080 Ti is finally here as well as the 3070 Ti. Nvidia is starting to start to mature some of their stuff directly on that architecture, but who's really getting them? Leave a comment down below to see if you actually were one of the lucky few that actually got these at an MSRP. Now they do have some cliff notes for the games. Most of them are the same that were on the list for the DLS technology and they haven't really changed. As mentioned before, the new GPUs to the family, bigger portions of fixes come down for the Crossfire HD. Freestyle is not supported for these games. And then the Kepler and turning GPUs, the blue screen crashes with the watchdog violation error occurring. VR and the GPUs in the 4K ultra high definition for as far as that HD you can get system freezes inside of there no more hopefully as we scroll down to see that the 16 series and the 20 series for as far as the 4k at 120 Hertz the mode is not available on the display screens these are issues that were kind of touched up in last one and they are pushing forward with some more open issues for as far as Ampere and some of the colorings in the freestyle you can utilize the issue of resolving with the next release driver for as far as some of the specific HDMIs, the HDR, if you experience some flickering issue, reboot the system. Wow, Shadowland comes down to certain locations inside of games. Arkham Knight comes down to the crashes inside of the smoke. And these are open issues that are very well reoccurring that they have yet to fix for as far as the shuddering and lags when it comes down to the hardware, monitoring tools in the background. YouTube, you can always work around for the DirectX 9 to get past until they can fix that. And the display flickers or loses signal during the game for as far as the VRR monitoring and multi configurations. So, looking at it directly, we'll have also the patch note directly from NVIDIA right there. But let's go ahead and look at some benchmarks. As we're going to go ahead and size up, everything is going to be looking pretty fresh. The brand new driver will be on the right, hardware accelerator on the top is on, and hardware accelerator off on the bottom. Older driver on the left, so you can kind of get the sizing pictures as we slam into the pure overlay. So, looking at the situation, it's very interesting because Windows had a brand new update that's been coming across from my AMD and Intel systems. And now with this framework finally getting a little bit brushed up, and the old architecture with the hardware accelerator off, lo and behold hardware accelerator off always kind of wins nowadays you can see that it definitely does get a little bit of a lead nothing crazy where it's percentage but if you're looking at the points it definitely is the more beneficial points now if you're looking at the newer driver and looking for stability and fixes yes it definitely does slide across as a little bit of a optimized component versus the hardware accelerator off on the older driver with the new framework of windows but this is 4k this is direct x12 what does it look like in the 1080p now this is where the fun part of the newer driver comes into shine now even with the newer framework laid down you can see that it definitely accelerates a little bit over the other ones 89 percent is the percentile that's shared by all of them but there's a hundred point give or take lead when you look at the hardware accelerator off versus the old driver with the hardware accelerator on where it definitely does showcase the better driver portions now if you're having any issues with any gameplay it is very well recommended with nvidia drivers to do a clean install ddu is usually recommended or the clean install through the actual ui of the installer that nvidia offers on top of that for as far as flushing the system out of anything that could have hiccups on laying down the foundation of what's going down you can toggle off and on the hardware accelerator for as far as the scheduling in the graphics which is located directly inside of your windows where you just type here to search and just type graphics it should pop up and you can toggle it off and on reset reboot and your room business pretty much to see if that will fix the actual driver now if it doesn't you had to roll back to the driver that you knew that worked the best unfortunately with many families from the 10 to 20 to 30 and the 40 on the wind we can see that there's always going to be something in a shuffle for as far as nvidia and what they offer now directx 11 is the next component before we look at port royale with ray tracing 
Now, when taking a look at the 4K department of DirectX 11, we can see that the newer driver definitely works. Lo and behold, as I always predict sometimes with the framework, it literally is the hardware accelerator off that wins with a lot of these games. Now, again, certain titles will be different for as far as what will be favored and what is optimized between a developer and the actual physical software that's written within the graphics card you have. So moving on past that, let's go ahead and look at 1080p and slide out of the 4K department. Now, this is where you start to see that the percentages finally level out. Unlike the last score we saw in 4K where it favored in the AMD technology as well as Nvidia are both aiming at 4K and pushing the limitations of what they can get out of it. Well, the bread and butter of 1080p definitely does see some improvements, but not percentage breaking. Hardware accelerator off with the newer driver wins though when you look at the point percentage of all the rest of the tests which almost look almost dead even when it comes down to scoring. So let's go ahead and scroll over to just the bare just fire strike. This is where it becomes a lot more level for the 1080p. You can see hardware accelerator on works for the first time beating the hardware accelerator off for both drivers compared to it. So you got choices. Seems like if you're in the 1080p department inside of Fire Strike, so DirectX 11, which is almost a majority of gameitude that is basically written in today's standards, DirectX 12 is definitely starting to push its boundaries out there, but it's more developer um, driven. So they really have to kind of like put a lot of effort into it rather than what the playing field already is out there. So there's a lot of cool stuff that can come from this. Again, if you run into issues, toggle off and on, reboot, and you should be right as rain. But let's go ahead and look at ray tracing. And this is where it gets a little interesting. As we take a closer look, we can actually see that the percentages seem like level, but if you look at the points, wow, there's a 200 point like leap up with the hardware accelerator off with ray tracing. So if you're playing with DirectX 12 and you're playing with the hardware accelerator off, you're probably going to see some pretty cool stuff with ray tracing for as far as the level playing field. And the same thing with DirectX 11, but the formation with that really isn't that um driven with the dlss that they're offering nowadays they're polishing it up for as far as the way that they're going to be offering with future family additions to their gpu family line but everyone that is pretty much the end of the video we have cleared our patch notes we've cleared our benchmarks and yes i do think that this is a nice driver to install if you're playing with 4k Make sure the hardware accelerator is off from all the testing it seems like across it. And if you experience any issues, make sure to toggle it off and on and clean install, which will be linked up above, that you can utilize. DDU is a great offering for as far as the way you can clean out stuff and have optimal performance. Again, if you are newer to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. Join the M7 network, absolutely free, helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, accompany it with that notification bell to get all the future tech notifications that come throughout my channel. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future, and hopefully one day, maybe, some rep will come across my channel and say, hey, you know, we can just give this guy a GPU and I'll just be the happiest freaking guy. Because seriously, they are so hard to get. I, I just want to buy one at MSRP. It's like almost impossible. And again, I still refuse to like buy anything past MSRP. But everyone have a very nice day. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay classy and I'll see you there.